Welcome to the ACMP Mini Coaching Series, a resource for chamber music players at all levels. I'm Jennifer Clark, Executive Director at ACMP Associated Chamber Music Players. You can find out more about our programs at acmp.net. Enjoy. Hi, Nick Ravel here with Public Quartet, and we're going to bring you some thoughts and suggestions on how to improve your chamber group's sense of timing and ensemble. We're going to explore pulse, meter, and rhythm in an abstract setting and in the context of Dvorak's American Quartet. The three pillars of good ensemble are pulse, meter, and rhythm. All three are very important in maintaining good ensemble. Pulse, the most important one, is the foundation of feeling time together. It's an internally felt sense of movement, up and down, back and forth. Pulse is easy to find on your own, but let's figure out a way to do it together. So we're going to pick our favorite note on our instruments, we're going to play quarter notes together, and while we do that we're going to sway back and forth making sure that we're feeling time together. Next up is meter. Meter is the pattern of strong beats and weak beats that fall into the structure of pulse. It's what lets you know you're playing on the same downbeat as your colleagues, especially in really complicated passages. So we're gonna do the same exercise we just did, but we're gonna add a couple things. We're gonna count out loud the beats that happen in time. We're gonna play quarter notes just like we did, and this time we're gonna accent the downbeats. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one. Now three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Now four, four. One, two, three. Rhythm, the last component, is the duration of the notes that we play, basically the music that we hear. We're going to do the same exercise we just did, except this time we're going to assign each person in the group a different rhythm. You might choose half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Everyone's going to play on their favorite note their assigned rhythm at the same time. Every two bars, we're going to switch to the rhythm from the player to our left. After four switches, we're going to come back to the rhythm that we started with, and in doing so, we're going to have practiced feeling pulse, meter, and rhythm all together at the same time. One, two, ready, and. Ready, switch. practiced aligning our pulse, meter, and rhythm in the abstract, let's take it back to the Dvorak American Quartet, where we'll play with really strong pulse cues, strong accents on the downbeats while swaying back and forth. Notice if you're playing the same or similar musical part to somebody else and direct your energy toward that person. In rehearsal, you might isolate just that pair, or you might change the dynamic scheme so that that pair is played forte while everybody else has played piano. A 
As you get more and more comfortable with the music, you'll need less bobbing and accenting, and a more fluid sense of pulse and musicality will return to your playing. Today we explored pulse, meter, and rhythm, and how the music that we play fits into that structure. Remember that a lot of this work can be done away from the music in the form of movement exercises. Once you come back to the music, you can experiment with clearing up the texture, playing in pairs, and playing with uh, either more pulse cue or less pulse cue. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful, and I hope you're able to take some of it back to your chamber music group Thanks for watching and happy music making.